In this video, I am going to be sharing with you every bit of detail you should know about this year's Minecraft Mob Vote mobs. So although the trailer gave you an idea on how each mob works, there were hidden details that both Lady Agnes and Jeb did not talk about in those videos. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this information. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start off with the Sniffer mob. So what the videos did tell us is that the sniffer mob comes from an egg. The best way to explain it is your Minecraft turtles. They start off small and they get bigger. The developers also said that the sniffer is an ancient mob, basically like a dinosaur. They also mentioned that the sniffer loved plants and it found seeds by sniffing the ground. The important information to take from this is they said plants as a plural. They did not say plant as in one of them. Yes, during the trailer, you only seen one plant. But now I'm going to share with you the information that was not mentioned in that trailer. What most people did not do is head over to Minecraft.net where Mojang released even more information on each individual mob. Focusing on the sniffer, I've highlighted it. It says, revive the species and help it thrive once more. All you have to do is search chests in underwater ruins for sniffer eggs. That confirms that the location for the sniffer eggs will be in the underwater chest. It also says this, these gentle giants. So there will be various sizes of the sniffer. The best way, once again, to explain it is going to be the turtle. You have a turtle egg, you hatch it, it's a baby turtle, and it grows up into a much bigger turtle. Remember in the background of the sniffer, there was an ancient giant sniffer that was not talked about. And the last bit of information you should know is coming from Jappa, who is the pixel artist over at Mojang. He said, Sniffer, there are decorative plants that only the Sniffer can help you grow. Only decorative plants, FYI. Let's move on to mob number two. This is known as the Rascal. Let's focus on what the video trailers did tell us. The developer said that the Rascal mob is a non-hostile mob, but Jeb did confirm it is a little bit mischievous. Now, this does not confirm nor deny that the Rascal would hit a player back if it was attacked in self-defense. The Rascal lives underground, which makes it a cave-exclusive mob. The Rascal would be the first hide-and-seek mob. Basically, it loves to play with players. And as a bonus, if you manage to find the Rascal three times, it will give you a prize, such as an enchanted pickaxe, which is what we did see during the trailer. Jeb also confirmed if the Rascal did win, you could play hide and seek with the Rascal as much as you like. But once again, nobody took the time to read Minecraft.net. Now, Jeb has also shared a little bit more information about this. So the first thing I want to say here is that like if you're deep down in a cave already, why am I going to need an enchanted pickaxe? But it turns out it's not just going to be pickaxes the Rascal can offer you. Let's start off with what was available on Minecraft.net. I've highlighted it here. It says it's both playful and helpful, giving you hints as you search for it. Objective based mob, like you got to play with it. You got to figure out where it is. You got to figure out what the hints are. Is it going to be like footprints? Is it going to be like particles? Well, that is something that we would have to find out if this mob did win. Also mentioned on Minecraft.net was this. You don't have to go as far as the deep dark. You just need to be below Y equals zero. It may be mischievous, but it won't lead you into the Warden's Den. So the only place you can find this mob is really far down, below Y equals zero. Diamond Gamer Ash tweeted towards the developers, one of them being Jeb, who did respond, saying, can you explain a bit more about the rascal? 
there is a lot of confusion. How does it actually work? Will it drop more things than just an enchanted pick? How does it hide? Will it also add backpacks, etc.? Now, Jeb responded saying, the pickaxe is only one example of the things it will give you. The exact details will be figured out as part of the implementation process. Until then, we're happy to hear your suggestions. So one of the things that I was slightly disappointed in about the rascal is it only dropped an enchanted pickaxe. And I was like, well, if I'm going below Y equals zero, man, I'm already geared. I've either got diamond gear or I've managed to get myself netherite gear. So it's like the iron pick just isn't really useful for me. It's gonna go inside a furnace and just be an iron nugget. So that's not the case. It looks like the rascal is a better version of the wandering trader. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Tough Golem mob. So the video really didn't tell us that much, and I feel like the Tough Golem was done very dirty by the developers. Anyway, the video taught us that Tough Golems are statues that can come to life. Basically the opposite of what the Copper Golem was last year. The Copper Golem was alive and then went to statues. Now this is a statue and it comes to life. Mojang really want to add a new Golem. The video also taught us that tough golems can hold an item and move around your base. Now the trailer had a little bit more information that was displayed in the description. This is what it said. It comes alive. When the tough golem awakens, it will walk around, pick up and hold any item it comes across. Don't worry, it will return to the same spot that you've placed it when it turns back into a statue. Basically like my mother cleans up after me all the time. But on Minecraft.net, it says this. It will stroll around at random and pick up whatever dropped item it comes across if it is not holding one already. So there is no exact time on when this mob is going to pop out and decide to come alive. I'm guessing when it's had enough sleep like me, then it starts to move around. But the cool thing is also on Minecraft.net, it said this. The tough golem will be a mob that you build like a snow golem and like an iron golem. But unlike them, they are completely passive. So you can build them and they won't attack back. Like I said, the trailers were really short and we really didn't get that much information about them. Pretty sure the developers next Saturday being October 15th will drop a little bit more information about each one. Now, for those of you who are worried that your mob might not win, King B-Dogs did confirm this, saying, as with all mob votes, the ones that don't win don't get removed. They are added to the forever-growing ideas library and will be considered for future updates.